Hey everyone, Sharina here. Welcome to another video. A few videos ago, I asked you guys if you had any interesting armies that you would like me to try and thanks lad mentioned e track bats. So I decided to give this a go and see if it works. The army I used were two super wall breakers, seven loons, seven e a yeti, an ice golem and a headhunter. The spells I had a rage, six bats and three freezes and in the CC I would bring either a blimp or a stone slammer with five loons, a drag and an extra rage spell. This army was really good against certain type of bases and I'll show you some of the triples I got. Thanks to Tanks for the suggestion and if any of you guys have some funky stuff you would like me to try just leave your suggestion in the comments below and I'll definitely give it a go. Okay so here is my first attack against TL's Elif. I use my heroes just as sui heroes with the ice golem, use my yeti to funnel them on one side. On this occasion I decided to use my e-drag to funnel them on the other side so that both of them do go inside towards the eagle. Now the ice golem dies, I have a headhunter just to kill the king a little bit faster and that way it gives a little bit more power to my heroes to get rid of more defenses. Now thanks to that e as well, my RC was able to go all the way in and gets rid of one single Inferno and then she goes and gets rid of the multi Inferno which is a l really really good. I had put an e at 1 o'clock just to funnel the rest of my e and moons and uh, then I sent a blimp for the tank hole uh, and obviously the sweeper is facing the other way so it's gonna get all the way there and when you have a dragon with 5 loons under rage the tank hole will go down. As long as there's no tornado traps or anything like pulling them, you should get it down nice and quick. However, obviously you'll lose all of your loons and probably half the health of your dragon. Now that the uh, Edrex were on that side and there was no much uh, splash damage except for the scatter and the wizard tower, I sent my bats and I used the freeze just to freeze that area. However, they all died to the red bombs, but that's okay. I still had the warden with two Edrex. So we got rid of the rest of the base. So that was the first one. I've got this one as well. And uh, as you can see, the clan castle is all the way to the north. So I decided to start all the way from the south. So as you can see, I don't have a poison. So if I can uh, start my heroes away from the clan castle, the better. Here I decided to use one of my freezes for that single inferno just to give my royal champion a little bit more time. And the queen is going to walk inside. Now the queen is going to be able to get rid of the Tesla in the single inferno. I did want her to get rid of the ego, but the king ended up walking. So I'm not going to be able to do that. So now I put an e drag at two o'clock just to funnel the rest of my e drags inside the base. And I send the blimp from behind again. I wait for a bit and then I use the warden ability just to make sure that my blimp gets all the way there. The sweeper pushes it to the tank hole. Tank hole goes down. We still have some e drags there just getting rid of one of the scatter shots. And I start with my bats from nine o'clock. Use the freeze to freeze the scatter shot and the wizard tower. And once the scatter shot goes down, there's no more splash damage, so the bats can just get rid of the rest of the defenses and then start helping with the cleanup. We still have two e drags that are going to be flying up as well. As you can, as you know, bats don't pull out any traps, so as long as there's no loons or e drags near them, they should not be pulling any red mines. Otherwise, if the red mines hit your bats, those bats are gone, and then it can go from a three star to a two star very quickly. Over here on this base as well, very uh, common Legend League base. So I decided to sue my heroes from the northern side. The reason why I went from there is because on the other three corners, there's single Inferno. So they're going to target my heroes a lot quicker and kill them very fast. And also because the Eagle was on that side. So I was trying to see if I was going to be able to funnel them inside. But in the end, I couldn't. So I decided to just use the e drags at around 2 to 3 o'clock and send the blimp for the town hall as the e were flying around the base. Now that I can see that the town hall is going down in the center of the base and I've got a few e there, now I can start with my bats also since the wizard tower was being tanked. I still have two freezes so I can use one of them for this wizard tower which I use it nicely. Now the queen is tanked by the bats. I use my freeze for the scatter shot just to give those e drags a bit more time. And now uh, it's just clean up and uh, we end up clearing the entire base. This was a nice attack as well. 
We've got this one as well, and as you can see, the Clan Castle is on the other side. So I start with my king at three o'clock, and uh, so first I put the king. On this occasion, I also used an e drag for funneling. I knew they were gonna go to the left, so I put my Yeti as well just to try to funnel my queen to go up. However, she's not gonna listen to me, and she's gonna go to the left. So I send my royal champion just as the king is tanking the defenses and also the ice golem she's gonna be able to get a little bit more value so now that my queen is down there i send my e drags but i send them a second too late otherwise they would have been able to tank that single inferno so i had to use her ability but that's all right they're gonna get the eagle down and now the blimp is getting to the tank hole tank hole goes down and now i've got a bunch of e drags there in the center of all of those defenses so I start with my bats. I used the first freeze a little bit too early and then I swag my last freeze there, but they end up getting rid of that area and now they can get rid of the scatter shot and uh, pretty much they're gonna be able to get rid of the rest of the defenses. Now I don't have any more e drags since there were a lot of defenses there, but thankfully there's no red mines and my bats are still alive and they can go through the rest of the buildings and give me this triple against Jack. Now we're going against Adam Mashtor and the same thing, the clan castle is on the other side. So I start with my heroes on the opposite side. Also I try going wherever the eagle is and try getting rid of it as quick as possible. Also another thing when you're using bats, you want to get rid of the splash damage as quick as possible. So obviously if you can get rid of the scatter is perfect. But if you can get rid of the Eagle, Wizard Towers, Multi Inferno, then probably go through that side. It's gonna give you a little bit more value as well. So on this occasion, we're able to get rid of the entire Northern side. And I know that the walls aren't max, but all of the defenses are max. So it was pretty good base. Um, using the Rage nice and early with my Loons and Edrex, and I send my Blame for the Town Hall. Now all the Edrex are moving down, the tank hole is making it all the way there, put the rage for my loons to get the tank hole down, the tank hole goes down, a couple of yetis come out of the clan castle which usually you don't see when you get a little bit higher in tank hole le in uh, cup levels, but that's alright, start with my bats from 2 o'clock just to get rid of that uh, 3 o'clock compartment. And now they're just gonna be clearing up the rest of the base over here, helping the e drags. The e drags trigger the tornado, kill half of my bats, but it's gonna be enough for me to get the triple on this base. Well, that's the e drag bats. Thanks again to Tanks for the suggestion. Hopefully, you guys have a few more and I'll try them out and definitely leave them in the comment section below. I had fun trying something new, so if you have something funky that I can try, I would really appreciate it. If you liked the video, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time with more Clash. See ya!